time feels constant. A second is a second. A minute is a minute, no matter where you are, right? But on Mars, time doesn't behave the same way it does on Earth. And that tiny difference could quietly break future human missions before they even begin. We live our lives assuming time is universal. Your clock, my clock, a satellite's clock. They all agree. Or at least, they seem to. But over a century ago, Albert Einstein shattered that assumption. Time, he said, is flexible. It stretches. It slows. It speeds up. And it depends on two things. Gravity and motion. That idea sounded abstract for decades, until we started leaving Earth. Einstein's theory of relativity predicts something unsettling. The stronger the gravity, the slower time moves. Earth has a strong gravity. Mars does not. Mars is only about 38% as massive as Earth. Its gravity is weaker. Its grip on space-time is looser, and because of that, time on Mars ticks slightly faster than it does here. Not by minutes, not by seconds, by microseconds. Tiny, almost invisible, and incredibly dangerous. A microsecond sounds harmless. Blink, and it's gone. Modern space exploration runs on precision. Navigation, orbital mechanics, landing sequences, and autonomous decision-making. All of it depends on clocks agreeing perfectly. Even a tiny mismatch can cascade into disaster. On Earth, we already deal with this problem. GPS satellites experience time differently than we do on the ground. They move faster. They feel weaker gravity. And without constant relativistic corrections, GPS would drift by kilometers per day. Now imagine Mars. Mars missions rely on timing more than anything else. Signals take up to 22 minutes to travel one way. There is no real-time control, no joystick, no second chances. Rovers land autonomously. Orbiters navigate blindly. Future human missions will depend on synchronized clocks for survival. If Mars's clocks drift from Earth clocks even slightly, navigation errors compound, landing zones miss, supply drops fail, orbital rendezvous break down. This isn't science fiction, it's mathematics. Here's the part that most people don't realize. We don't just need clocks that work on Mars. We need clocks that agree between planets. Earth time, Mars time, orbital time, all synchronized across millions of kilometers while experiencing different gravity and motion. There is no universal now. There never was. And Mars exposes that brutally. Robotic missions are forgiving compared to human ones. A rover can wait. A human cannot. Life support systems rely on timing. Radiation exposure tracking relies on timing. Sleep cycles, medication schedules, emergency procedures all rely on time. If Mars's time drifts too far from Earth's time, mission planning becomes chaotic. Communication windows shift. Automated systems desynchronize. A mistake here isn't an inconvenience, it's fatal. NASA engineers are already working on this problem. They know that future Mars missions will require planet specific time standards, relativistic corrections built into every system, autonomous clock correction without Earth intervention. This isn't glamorous, it doesn't make headlines but it is foundational. Without it, nothing else works. You can have the best rocket in history, 
and still fail because your clocks disagree. If you're enjoying this deep dive into the hidden challenges of Mars exploration, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We go beyond headlines and uncover the real problems that could shape humanity's future in space. Mars already uses its own time unit, a Martian day called a Sol. It's about 24 hours and 39 minutes. That extra 39 minutes doesn't sound like much, but over weeks, months, and years, it shifts everything. NASA teams on Earth working Mars missions often live on Mars time, slowly drifting away from Earth's schedules. People burn out, sleep cycles collapse, mental health suffers. Now, imagine astronauts doing that for years on another planet. Humans evolve with stable cycles, sunrise, sunset, seasons. Mars disrupts all of it. Longer days, weaker light, different gravity. Add drifting clocks and delayed communication, and you create isolation on a level no human has ever experienced. Mars crews won't just be far from Earth, they'll be out of sync with it. Birthdays arrive late, messages feel disconnected, Earth events happen in the past. Time itself becomes alien. The first Mars mission might handle this with custom fixes. The second might too. But what about permanent habitats, rotating crews, supply chains, emergency evacuation? You can't run a civilization on improvised time. Mars will eventually need its own timekeeping system its own synchronization standards, its own definition of now. At that point, Mars stops being an outpost. It becomes a separate, temporal world. We talk a lot about rockets, fuel, engines, radiation shields, but time may be the most subtle barrier of all. You can engineer around radiation. You can shield against dust. You can build habitats, but you can't ignore relativity. The universe doesn't negotiate. Elon Musk wants speed, rapid launching, fast timeline, bold goals. Physics wants patience. Mars doesn't care about ambition. If Starship launches tomorrow, the clock problem remains. If humans land next decade, the clock problem remains. No amount of funding removes it. It must be solved perfectly. Here's the nightmare scenario nobody likes to imagine. Not an explosion, not a crash, but a slow unraveling. Navigation errors accumulate. Schedules slip. Automation conflicts. Small mistakes stack up, and one day, a mission fails, not because of a rocket, but because time itself drifted too far out of alignment. Mars forces us to confront something uncomfortable. Time isn't absolute. It never was. And once humans leave Earth permanently, we leave Earth time behind. Mars won't just change where we live. It will change how we measure existence itself. And if we get it wrong, the planet won't forgive us. So here's the question. Is humanity ready to live on a planet where time itself works differently? Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want more deep dives into the hidden realities of space exploration, you know what to do.